Bismillahir Rahman Rahim Your Excellencies Ministers Asnat Dignitaries from Space Industry Honorable Participant Ladies and Gentlemen Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh With warmest greetings it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the opening of this CANSAT model satellite training workshop and ISISCO International Aerospace Symposium. I am heartened by the strong support from our partners and delighted to see the turnout today. Ladies and gentlemen, years ago, with Copernicus claimed that Earth was not the center of the universe, it triggered a revolution, a revolution of our views towards religion science and society, a revolution in our understanding of the universe, its origin, its fate, and the dream of exploring it for the benefits of humanity. Because of this revolution, the global space economy hits a new high of 450 billion US dollars in 2020. 12 billion US dollars private funding is flowing into the sector annually. By 2040, the commercial space market forecast in annual sales will be 1 trillion US dollars. Satellites that makes up 70% of this space market will grow by 700 billion US dollars in the same period. The decreasing launching cost, which could shrink from 100 US dollars per kg by 2040, comparing to 1500 US dollars per kg today, is driving such a high growth rate. However, to seize upon these opportunities, we all should collectively build a talent pool that is skilled and industry ready for all the function across the value chain. It includes certified technicians and engineers, university graduates and advocates of aerospace and space science. ICESCO foresee this challenge. We understand a diversified knowledge base, matching investment and even greater engagement is required to reap the real benefits. Countries, countries failing on this front will be the ones lagging behind in growth and development by 2040. Let me share with you and present here few case scenarios that we can make or break our future. Desertification, for instance, is a severe challenge to more than 1.2 billion people in more than 100 countries. 12 million hectares of a productive land becomes barren due to desertification annually. Millions of people are forced to leave homes. The solution is to develop a tailored and standardized information system based on satellite observation that can assess and monitor desertification and its trend over time. A successful example is European agency satellite based information system called Desert Watch. Desert Watch is working with three of the European countries most affected by desertification. Another case scenario is the conservation of fresh water. Agriculture accounts for 70% of fresh water consumed that require efficient water management. Thermal and optical data are obtained from satellite mission, and then machine learning tools are utilized for efficient water management. Satellites do the mapping of areas affected by natural disaster, hurricanes, floods, wildfires, and drought. These scenarios motivate us not only to build and launch satellite, but also to learn how to share, assess, and comprehend data. With more than 7,000 satellites orbiting our planet and increasing, for water and land management, for our navigation and communication system, 
for our disaster management and surveillance, even for our climate, education, and health. We not only need a highly skilled workforce and enhanced capabilities in airspace to keep them functional, but we also need our member state without space science ecosystem to build one, or at least engage in a space science literacy program. We should also consider space as our joint assets. We must share knowledge and resources. We should also collaborate on technical advances. This is the reason we are launching this model satellite training workshop and, and holding this airspace symposium today. This workshop will provide an opportunity to the trainee to build satellite as small as so they can and to learn about basic scientific and engineering concepts involved therein. The workshop will also highlight the set of information coming from space-related activities while inspiring young scientists and space industry career seekers. Both of these activities will also present networking opportunities at all levels, including student, faculties, executive, influencers, universities, and organization. We at ACSCO are creating this networking and awareness building capacities and bringing stakeholders together to discuss the issue of this industry, its growth potential in our member countries, and the implementation of strategies that will transform our future. We're leveraging upon airspace technologies and innovation, including advanced manufacturing and digitization as key drivers. To enhance the competitiveness in our member state, we're festering partnership between the public and private sectors to drive value for the industry and capture emerging market and new areas of development. Today, we have student and faculty members from more than 20 countries. We have four universities as our partner, and we have ministers, astronauts, entrepreneurs, and key players of space ecosystem who are all willing to collaborate. Our governments, particularly the administration here in Morocco, and a few interested member states are committed to work with ISISCO in developing a robust talent pipelines and capturing all these growth opportunities, which continued even during the challenging time of the pandemic. Therefore, I particularly encourage the student and mid-career professionals here in this hall and those attending virtually to be engaged in these technologies. I hope your experience today will spark curiosity about the merit possibilities in, in the aerospace industry and encourage you to explore an aerospace career. I would like to end my speech with a quote from Dr. Ahmed Zouel, the Nobel Prize winner in 1999. He said, preserving knowledge is easy. Transferring knowledge is also easy. But making new knowledge is neither easy nor profitable in the short term. Fundamental research proved profitable in the long run. And as importantly, it is the force that enrich the culture of any society with reason and basic truth. I believe the same is true for the investment we make in space science in terms of time, energy, human and financial capital. We must be part of the space ecosystem. It is the future. It is the solution of many, of the, of many problems that we are facing and we will be facing. It is also our common resource and a treasure of knowledge and information as the image from James Webb Telescope is approving. So please, let us be in the same rocket for this journey and be in the front. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.